Hey guys, welcome to uh, Metro Last Light. This is a game I've wanted to play for a while. Now, just to judge your opinion on uh, the content I'm bringing you here, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoy or dislike if you didn't. And without further ado, we can go ahead and jump right into the game. See you then. When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. Me, this is safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound opening a road to hell for us, and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day, when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens, and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion, and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky, and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro and we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died, while we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later. From the garden's direction. The Dark Ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Sounds like quite the beast. Can't wait to fight it. Can't wait to fight that motherfucker. I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! Looks like we got some fuckers to fight. Jumping right into the combat here. Shit! Shit! Alright, I can definitely see some shadows. Holy fuck! Alrighty then, that scared the living shit out of me. Let's kill some- Wait, what the fuck? Hold on! What the fuck? Alright, this is a bit weird. Some of these- Some of these guys are- are people. Am I hallucinating that there's assholes chasing after me, or what? What's the deal? I'm so confused. 
Was I was I just straight up hallucinating that there were Is that a is that a good guy too and we just don't know it? I'm fucking lost. Already I'm confused. Con. No wonder. After all you've been through. Okay, it's just a nightmare. I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller, but we must persuade him to allow this mission. I told you to get out! This is a classified place. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Arthur. All right. Get ready, Arthur. I'll be waiting at the exit. I look forward to seeing you there. They're just insulting him. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe for a tiny hole. Okay then. What am I grabbing there? Is that a map? That's a cool bullet lighter. They make those over here? What's this? Lights. So actually lights are, are supposed to be a huge point in this game that you can like turn most of them off or shoot them out. It's supposed to be uh, somewhat of a stealth game. I don't know how much of a stealth game because I've never played it. But uh, quite a bit. Artyom was one of the men who found D6. They gave him a ranger's badge on the spot. Yeah, that's nice for him. I had to spend two years as a cadet before they accepted me into the order. Oh, nice. Anyway, where were we? Well, you sucks to be you. I'm just that fucking awesome. Alright. Everyone is talking to me at once. Are you talking to me over there? I have no fucking clue. Everyone is talking at the same time. You see... Look at those two rookies. Pathetic. No wonder the color or the training duck doubles. Wow. Alrighty then. Better than I would do. You guys have anything to say? The rest of the group? Wiped out? The marshes are easy. We just look for the markers and flags and walk along them so we don't drown. A child could do it. Well, okay, the shrimps always gave you hell. But come on. What could take a whole squad down? No idea. no idea. They found Romanov's alone at the church, sitting on the floor praying. Since then, he doesn't eat, doesn't react to people, he just speaks to God. <laughs> Hope Romanov's not expecting an answer. <laughs> this is very interesting, but I have a place I need to be here. I don't know where, but Hello, what's up with you? Welcome to the armory. I hear you are a ranger now, huh? You must get a drink sometime to celebrate. Yeah. For now, let's get you equipped. So, first things first. You're going to need a gas mask. You can't make a step on the surface without a gas mask. Sure. It's been 20 years and the radiation still strong enough in some places to boil water. There are hot spots down here in the metro, too. Don't forget filters for the mask. Sure, it looks cool enough even without these, but they definitely make it better for your health. All right. Now med kits. Well, what can I say? Anything you need for survival in a stylish orange case. Very stylish. Here's your advanced salary for this month. Remember, your pay is in military grade rounds. Sure, you can use them as usual ammo for some hefty extra damage, but saving them to buy guns, attachments, regular ammo and equipment from merchants anywhere in the metro seems like a smarter move. That's an interesting way to use currency. I didn't know this game did something like that. I like it. Ammo selection menu. Cool. <laughs> All right. Now to the good stuff, huh? Let's get you some guns. Yeah. Take the ones you want and try them out on my range. All right. Oh. All right. Let's uh, grab some guns. All right. We got a rifle, machine gun, a uh, submachine gun, shotgun. And revolver. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna go with the rifle, and we can customize it. All right. Uh, 
Hmm. Alright, well, uh... That's fine. Let's go ahead and... I, I typically like my, uh... My precision weapons, that's why I chose the uh, hunting rifle. Could always go with, a uh, With the bastard, as it's called. But... I think I'm gonna go with a shotgun. And I think I'm gonna go with the revolver. Most people would probably go with a machine gun, but I am definitely a revolver kind of guy. So. Yeah, revolver is absolutely fine with me. Where's your range? Is it through here? Oh, here it is, okay. Okay. Give me something to shoot. Am I supposed to press something? Alright. Oh, yeah. I'm not putting up with that. Alright. Show yourself. Yeah, I definitely noticed the difference. I want to use some of my other guns, see what's up with those. Can I... Yeah, well, uh... Oh, this thing has some range, holy shit. Alright, I want to try... I want to try my, uh... Hunting rifle. Oh, yeah. I like that. Keep moving. What the hell are you doing? Some food? That's very fun. Alright. I could use myself a meal. I could definitely use myself a meal. He didn't answer your question at all. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let us go. The tombs of ancient kings were filled with whatever they might need in the afterlife: weapons, gold, chariots. They'd sacrifice their wives and slaves to serve their lords, even in death. That's really, really cool. You should just move faster. Yeah, cut that shit out. The things in D6 are like what the Conqueror took with him beyond the grave. Cold steel, and wild steeds, and treasures untold. Of course, the Tomb Raiders would always die horribly, killed by demons or ghosts, or their own greed. Khan, will you shut up or what? Yeah, seriously. Shut up. You're entertaining me, but I'm gonna ask you to shut up. No. Okay. Okay, where's all the smoke coming from? It's just sitting here. Okay then. We got quite the uh, military force going on over here. Alright, what's up? We going out here or what? Kruman, take these guys to Miller. They've been summoned. Yes, sir. Alright, yeah. go on in. I'll wait here. When you've gone, I'll speak to Miller. Okay. Head on in then. Seriously, you are slow. The of the Dark Ones may have been humanity's worst mistake. What if they meant us no harm, but were trying to communicate? Perhaps the severe pain and loss of consciousness suffered in their presence just meant we were incompatible. 
machines with different wiring. But somehow you, Artyom, have the common wire. Oh, I do? Connection with the dark ones. I did not yes. know that. People died at exhibition. Your home station. Hunter, the best of the order, is most likely dead as well. And he taught you this. If we don't fight for our lives in this new world, we'll be devoured. It is the law of evolution. But I would argue the old laws no longer apply. I would agree. I would agree with that statement, sir. Set on end. All right, Arthur, and you, God, you have something to report? Yes. Tell yes. him, bro. Let's keep it short, then. I located the surviving Dark One at the gardens. What? One of those things is still alive? Luckily, yes. Luckily? Come, this is utter madness. The Dark Ones were the greatest threat the Order's ever faced. Gunner, just give me a chance. A single Dark One is no threat. Artyom has a gift. I believe he can establish contact with the creature. Let him come with me. All right, Artyom, go with Khan to the gardens and locate the Dark One. I'll send a sniper over. My best. Anna. Yes, sir. Why would we need a sniper? To eliminate the creature and finish the Order's job. Miller, you can't. It's murder. Restrain him. Restrain him? You're making the same mistake. Yes, restrain him for voicing his opinion. That makes no Let's fucking sense. He wasn't even dangerous in their restraining him. He lost it when he used the word lucky. Luckily. Looks like he got close. Too close to the creature and lost his mind. Look here, Arthur. Complete the mission and get back here quickly. A war is coming and I'll need every ranger at his post. On your way. I will be on my way, sir. Come along, rabbit. Pretty sure that's not my name. Art, if it's true that the Dark Ones can sense you, maybe you could draw it out from hiding so Anna could have a clear shot. But do me a favor. Don't let the Dark One get into your mind, or Anna will have two targets. Is that understood? You were kind of a horrible leader. Was a sleeper agent, but we haven't verified who's running him. Your job is to intercept him before he delivers the stolen container. Understood? Yes, sir. I, I feel like that character is going to become very relevant later. The entire metro is at risk. So if you can't take him alive, you damn well better bring me his head. Yes, sir. Lesnitsky is going to be a very relevant character later in the in the game, I feel. All right, what's your deal? Don't tell me you believe that bullshit about making peace with the dark ones. Dude, I can speak I to wish them. I had been up in that tower myself to see the missiles fall and watch them burn in their nests. Jesus. Come on, rabbit. Would you let those things into the metro? Let them crawl into our brains so they could use us like animals. Maybe we could mate with them, so the children could live on the surface and feed off the radiation. Sounds like a good plan to me. You don't shake hands with the devil. Please step away from the edge of the slot. I'm just gonna disagree with everything you say because I can. That's just something you're gonna have to put up with as long as you're here. Oh, you suck. I refuse to be associated with a rabbit. You have no idea. I guess we're not going to that side of the train. I don't know why I started walking over there. I do not know why. Am I supposed to be able to hear that? Alright, you, you guys may not be able to hear this, but they're actually speaking the words that are on the screen right now. I don't know why it's... That is really quiet. Why is that so quiet? That's, that's just weird. Well, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to read it. So, there you go. You're just going to have to read that one. Okay. I want to use my hunting rifle. In the past, trains were ordinary things. But now, this monorail seems magic, doesn't it? Our kids won't know how to operate these things. And their kids will probably think this was built by the gods. 
Wouldn't be surprised. I can't shoot my weapon right now. It won't let me. I am extremely disappointed by this fact. I'll try to put some juice on the system and get the lights on. Use your flashlights in the meantime. I wonder what year this is based in. Right. You ready? Let's move. Watch yourself. The doors are closing. Good luck. Yeah, we'll need it. I'm not gonna need any luck. I'm one skilled motherfucker. I refuse to be associated with rabbits. Please stop. This, this looks like a lever I can pull. Can I pull it now? No? Right. Oh, now I can, right as I walk away. That's fantastic. Wait, oh. She is such a condescending bitch. I can't wait for you to die. I really hope she dies at some point in this game. I really hope that she dies. I just wanted to uh, test my firepower. I don't have a map. Oh! I got some ammo. Nice. Move. I'm following. I really hate you. I do. She's already pissing me off. Screw you. Oh, some bodies over here. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if there was some ammo or something. Some rats for me to kill. Oh, that is just sad. That's sad right there. Alright. Well. I don't have a sprint button yet, unfortunately. This, you know what this revolver needs? This revolver needs a, uh... What the fuck is that? Shit, that thing's fast. Yeah, that thing is fast. Don't think we'll run into anything serious here. Shouldn't you, like, know what you're up against? Just a little more walking. Then we'll see if you're a rabbit or man. Look at that fucking spider. Holy shit. I refuse to be uh, a Surface. part of this. Put your mask on. Gas mask? MG. Alright. I got that. Got that shit locked down. This is the slowest elevator I've ever... Er, not elevator. This is the slowest ladder I've ever seen in a game. You have no idea how much I hate you. She's condescending. She thinks she's, like, really hot, and she's not. I just, mmm, I cannot wait for you to die. You have no idea. Give me a hand here. All right. You need a big, strong man to do that for you. All righty then. Dude, there's fucking bodies everywhere. They're not even bodies. They're just bones. There's an abundance of them. Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. Oh, now I can Not sprint. All right. There. What? Influence? Well, I don't have your gift. So hop along, rabbit. I told you not to call me a rabbit. I'm not okay with it. Since the dark ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you or smell you or whatever the fuck they do and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay then. Good luck. How the fuck are you going to climb up there? I see a ladder. I think... Wait, no, that's not a ladder. Never mind. She's just going to scale the fuck out of that. Alrighty then. Well, have fun. Have fun scaling that. 